Welcome to the product tour for Sage Intact Wholesale Distribution. I'm Bob Shago. I work with Sage Intact Product Marketing, and I'll be your host today as we take a look inside Sage Intact to see just what makes it an ideal solution for wholesale distribution companies. We'll start today with a brief overview of where Sage Intact sits in the accounting software industry. Things like who uses Sage Intact, who partners with Sage Intact, and what the industry has to say about us. I'll point out some of the key challenges we're solving for wholesale distribution finance and operations teams so you can see how they align with your needs. Then, before jumping into the demo, we'll cover some of the main value points that Sage Intact delivers. This is going to help you identify how the things I'll show you in the demo bring value to your company. In the demo portion, which is the majority of this presentation, I'll walk through how Sage Intact provides wholesale distribution companies with real-time visibility. I'll point out how we increase productivity and reduce costs through configurable workflows and automation, and how Sage Intact provides the flexibility to adapt to the specific needs of your organization, your processes, and your goals. So let's get started. At its core, Sage Intact has always been dedicated to delivering customer value. This focus shows in our continued ratings in G2 Crowd as the accounting software leader in customer satisfaction. Through both our advancements in technology and our customer service, we strive every day to make sure customers receive real, quantifiable value. Sage Intact is an open, best-in-class system designed to easily integrate with other best-in-class solutions. This means that you get to choose the solutions that best fit your company's needs and connect them to the financial system of record to produce real-time reporting and metrics. In every area of our focus, we are surrounded by the availability of pre-integrated partners. We have over 120 partners, and the vast majority of our customers have integrated multiple systems together with Sage Intact Financials. This is no different in the specialty areas of wholesale distribution. With more than 20 years delivering cloud financial solutions to customers, we've become a steady recipient of industry recognition. We're the first and only preferred provider of the AICPA, the only vendor to have earned this endorsement. We're the undisputed leader in customer satisfaction, as evidenced by our rating of 98 out of 100 on G2 Crowd, across over 2,000 reviews. We're also the undisputed leader in innovation. We're recognized as a visionary by industry analysts like Gartner. We know what it takes to scale, especially when talking about your processes. Inventory accuracy, along with knowing when and how much to order, improves margins, and it improves customer satisfaction by not delaying or impeding orders due to lack of supply. It further reduces labor costs as you avoid frequent manual cycle counts. Growth often means more touches for your financial team, more sales orders, more bills, more purchase orders. You get the idea. At the same time, if growth also means continuing to do more manually intensive activities, like manual updates between systems and spreadsheet workarounds, then growth can also be a very painful thing, especially if you're trying to scale. We're going to dive into how process automation alleviates concerns with scalability to keep your business running lean from finance to operations. Customers tell us their companies are forever changed with Sage Intact. Why do they love us? Two reasons. First, by improving warehouse oversight and controls, increasing inventory accuracy and compliance, and automating replenishment, we simply help companies run better. We keep operations running more efficiently while letting each part of the organization use the best tools for their part of the job. Second, we empower companies to drive financial performance. As financial managers, you're asked to do more than execute a process. You're expected to provide strategic information to better run your company. Lots of solutions can give you a snapshot of metrics. Only Sage Intact lets you dig deeper to understand the true dynamics of your company. Only Sage Intact provides visibility into both your financial and operating data, letting you make better long-term strategic decisions. And because companies are dynamic, we're flexible. As your needs change, Sage Intact has the tools to change with you. Now that we've looked at what makes Sage Intact tick and the value we add to wholesale distribution companies, let's dive into the system where I'll show you how we do it. We're going to look at three main areas, how warehouse management and advanced cost accounting can add to your company's bottom line, how Sage Intact delivers automation and visibility in the quote to invoice process, how workflows and automation and procurement 
make your finance and operations teams more productive. This chapter covers inventory management, specifically item and warehouse management and product costing. Our solution allows you to streamline inventory management and replenishment. You can significantly improve inventory turns, reduce stockouts, and maintain customer satisfaction. Multiple warehouses and customizable inventory transactions keep you aware of inventory locations, allotments, and quantities without the need for frequent cycle counts. Sage Intact enables you to find the product you need when you need it. Streamline inventory counts and costing through cycles and category assignments. Maintain accurate costing with proper costing methods and landed costs. Our demonstration will show item and warehouse management, including product costing methods and key item information. We'll look at serial numbers, lots and bins, units of measure, kitting, replenishment, and transfers. Let's begin our look at inventory management by looking at a dashboard. Right off the bat, we see metrics for inventory value, inventory sales ratio, inventory turns, items. We even have a report showing profitability by item. From our dashboard, we'll move into looking at the different components that make up inventory control. At the heart of inventory management is our items list. We can filter to see groups like stocked inventory items. Drilling into an item brings us to the item information screen. We can immediately see quantities on order, on hand, and on hold. We have information to help identify the items, such as the item number, description, and unit of measure used to quantify purchasing or selling the item. The costing method is set here, with options like FIFO, LIFO, Average, and Standard. If we need to calculate shipping charges, we have the shipping weight right here. We can immediately see what general ledger group this inventory item impacts. The system uses the standard cost for purchasing an item as a default on purchase requisitions and purchase orders, but allows the user to change the amount at the time they create the order. We also have the ability to create item price lists, set a base price, and set vendor-specific pricing. A simple checkbox lets us make this item available for drop shipping, where the system creates a purchase order and a sales order at the same time, allowing the item to go directly from my supplier to my customer. The warehouse section shows availability by warehouse, as well as historical information like average cost, last cost, and last date sold and received. Notice the 10 decimal point cost precision. You can set cost precision at the item level. Warehouses can be set to different currencies, eliminating manual currency exchange calculations when you run valuations. Warehouse details in the drop-down area give further control to help maintain proper inventory levels. Here we can see cycle count information, economic order count information, and reorder point, as well as order minimum and maximum. We can also set up row, aisle, and bin defaults. The advanced tab is where we enable serial number, lot number, and bin tracking. This is also where we enter the item UPC code and the number of decimal spaces used for costing precision. These details can be different for inventory, sales, and purchasing. Vendor history shows which vendors we've bought from. This is where we set the stock number the vendor uses, the lead time, the economic order quantity, best costs, and last costs. Let's transition to another important component of inventory management, warehouses. Drilling down to a warehouse, we see that we can establish warehouses by entity and have multiple warehouses within a location. This is also where we set up rows, aisles, and bins within the warehouse. Now that we've looked at the two main components related to inventory, let's look at tasks the warehouse users perform. On the inventory management overview, we see quick links to inventory tasks. We can create inventory directly or as a warehouse transfer. Transfer inventory in or out. Create an inventory shipper or use a shipper to transfer inventory in or out. We can create adjustments based on manual inventory count or on damage, scrap, or spoilage counts. Transaction definitions give you the ability to manage business processes for how and when inventory gets adjusted. We can assemble a kit using stocked or non-stocked items. On the topic of kits, let's revisit the item master for different kinds of items. A stocked kit includes kit components, how many, units of measure. This essentially lets us identify the bill of materials. 
When we create a kit, it increases the quantity on hand for the kit item. A non-stock kit is a finished good that is not in inventory. It shows components that need to be consumed during that kit assembly. It generates instructions for warehouse staff to pull items and assemble them at the time of the order. We just looked at item management and accounting, including serial numbers, lots and bins, units of measure, replenishment, and transfers. We also saw available product costing methods, warehouse management tools, and kitting for inventory and non-inventory kits. In this chapter, we'll look at how Sage Intact helps you streamline quote to invoice, while controls and visibility enhance effectiveness and decision making. Whatever it is you sell, our solution can streamline order entry and fulfillment processes with integrated transaction workflows, and will help keep your processes scalable when your business grows and you start selling other goods, do more business with your customers, and have more employees using the system. With its advanced inventory system, and pre-built integrations to e-commerce systems, Sage Intact can help reduce costs to process orders by 20 to 30 percent. Specifically, I'm going to show you order visibility through performance cards, charts, and tabular reports. I'll walk through how automation assists in the order entry process, move through workflow quote to invoice, and show instant customer care through data availability. I'm going to start with an order management dashboard. Here we see many of the same types of metrics that we saw in the inventory dashboard, only they're specific to the role of order entry. Let's move over to our order entry overview map. It shows links to basic data or objects like customers, warehouses, product lines, items, and so on. We can also see our tasks and our workflows. We can create a sales quote and convert that to an order and convert that to a fulfillment document. And then we can create a sales invoice off of that. I'm going to pull up some existing sales orders. Rather than clicking the plus sign or clicking the button on the map to create a sales order, I can just click the name sales order to see a list of orders. As I go through this list of sales orders, I have this company who's asking about an order that they have a sales order number for. I can go ahead and view that order. As I bring up the order, I see everything I need to know about this for the customer. I see the transaction date, the due date, the item totals and subtotals. Scrolling down, I see the line item showing what was ordered and how much it was ordered for. I can see that the sales order has been converted. Looking at the history tab, I see that we created a shipper and shipped that order. We also created an invoice. From here, I can pull up the sales invoice and look at any information I want around that invoice. I can do this all while I've got the customer right there on the phone, so I'm creating a better customer experience while enjoying better visibility and control in the financial system. I can also bring orders in from Salesforce. I'll bring up a demo company that's associated with a Salesforce instance. I'll also bring up the associated Salesforce instance. In Salesforce, I can create an opportunity, and it shows the products that I'm selling. It also shows sales orders and a sales invoice created from this opportunity. There's back and forth communication. When I create an opportunity, I simply choose Create Sales Invoice or Create Sales Quote or Sales Order. Salesforce creates the transaction over in Sage Intact. In Sage Intact, in this order entry transaction list, I can see that I've got this order. I can tell by the reference number that this is from the opportunity. I can see all the information inside the order entry system. This tight integration allows salespeople to work in Salesforce while finance and operations people work in Sage Intact. Jumping back to Sage Intact, you can see that each line item has additional fields, and I can set different dimensions for this order, and they'll be tracked with it all the way through to the general ledger. Order visibility started at the dashboard with key metrics and reports important to the role. Automation assisted in the order entry process by loading customer information, allowing for key date entry, and tagging the line items by dimension. Moving through the workflow to the invoice was a smooth process that eliminated data reentry. Order and customer details are available for quick access anytime. This section covers procure to receive. Daily automation, workflows, and true cost accounting add up to a measurable ROI. 
organizations running on Sage Intact calculate ROI across automated processes, like automated replenishment and data flow across warehouses and accounting. Built-in procurement workflows help you never miss a step from requisition to receiving to payment. Transaction histories let you know exactly where each purchase stands. Automated accounting processes, like knowing cost order by order, and adding in landed cost to purchases to know true cost of goods sold, helps accounting avoid time-consuming workarounds and errors. Our typical customer is able to see more than $150,000 in value annually, more than offsetting the software costs. They generally see an implementation and subscription payback in less than six months, and on average, our customers see a 250% return on investment. Your results will be more or less depending on the size of your organization and the depth to which you use Sage Intact in your company. In our demo, I'm going to show points of automation in the request to receive to pay workflow. I'll show how we track items and warehouses as dimensions to create visibility and reporting. We'll also look at the history of the transaction workflow, receiving automation and flexibility and replenishment. I'll also show you how we automate calculating actual landed costs to see a clearer picture of profitability. Let's move to look at purchasing. Like order entry, we have an overview map. It shows our workflow from requisition to purchase order to receiver to vendor invoice. I'll create a purchase order at this point. I'm just going to click on the purchase order icon and create this new purchase order. Note that if your main job revolves around procurement, you can set this map as your home page at login. Our example company needs more stock, so I'll create a PO to buy items. I'm going to purchase 10 more of this item. I can see my extended price. As I create additional line items, the system will give me lines to enter them on. Just like order entry, I see the pay to and return to contacts and all the different controls. My header shows all the information for this transaction so far. With all my information entered, I can post this purchase order. Several days go by and I receive the order from the vendor. Now I can go to this purchase order and convert it to a receiver. Come to find out the vendor didn't have 10 in supply. So on my receiver, I note that I received eight of these. I don't want to pay for 10 when I only got eight. With the receiver updated, I'm going to post it. I can now convert this item to a vendor invoice. I see that everything is in here the way I expect it to be. I can add the vendor document number and post this vendor invoice. As I posted this vendor invoice to purchasing, the system went over to accounts payable and created a bill. If I go look at my bills in accounts payable, I'll see that I have a new bill. I can view the bill and see everything that's on the bill. Accounts Payable keeps track by account and amount rather than item and quantity, allowing the accounting team to drill down from the GL reports to original transactions. This also gives me all the information I need to select bills to pay, moving my procurement process through to the end. Automatic replenishment is set up on an item by item basis and can even be set for seasonal changes. We can choose to automatically create replenishment orders based on stock levels, ensuring that we're never out of stock. Products cost more than what you pay the supplier. In Sage Intact, you can add landed costs like freight and insurance to purchases. You set the amortization based on how you run your business. We just looked at automation in the procurement workflow, header automation saving you clicks, Attached documents maintaining auditability and window shade providing more dimensional tracking. We saw how we track item and warehouse as dimensions for reporting. We also looked at a history of transaction workflow, receiving automation flexibility, maintaining stock levels through automated replenishment, and adding landed costs to cost of goods sold. This concludes our wholesale distribution product tour. Thank you for your time today. I hope you'll reach out and let us show you how Sage Intact can meet your specific needs.